After last year's expansion across Europe, Barron's Re is consolidating a new market and growing further as a business. The company has been awarded Reinsurance Company of the Year in Panama and its CEO, Mr. Gerardo Garcia, has been awarded CEO of the Year in Panama. Mr. Garcia joins us today to discuss the success of the recent expansion as well as the recent announcement of the upgrade in the rating from A- to A. Good morning. Nice to see you again. This is the second time that the European subscribers recognize Barron Tree as a company, but this time they've gone as far as to awarding you personally as the CEO. Why do you think this is? First of all, I'm, I'm grateful for the recognition. Uh, I don't think so far, uh, probably is a, a recognition personally of me, but probably most of our company and probably the team as a whole in Barron's Re. So I take the recognition not as, as a personal token, but as a, a, a sign of the strength of the team and a, of the service that is providing to the industry. Last time we saw each other, you were about to open your new branch in Moscow in order to reach the Eastern European market. What's your assessment of that expansion a year later? A lot of things happened since then. Uh, when we first opened the office, there was no sanctions uh, in Russia. The environment has changed substantially. Uh, we have a small presence there, but I think uh, overall we are evaluating the business conditions as, as they proceed and see uh, how what uh, will happen in the, in the near future uh, to make a further appraisal of our operation. I understand that Barron Tree is planning to consolidate its presence in Europe as it is its main marker today. What are your plans for the near future? Well, Europe is now uh, probably our biggest single market. Uh, I think uh, Europe presents as a whole uh, interesting opportunities especially in the countries where we have a, a, a presence, mostly the south, uh, south of Europe. Uh, uh, we, I think the, our plan for the immediate future is to have a stronger consolidation, uh, to have probably a, a license uh, carrier within the European Union, and this is uh, a plan that we are developing uh, and going forward. Uh, today also, honestly, most of our staff is in Europe, uh, most of our senior management is in Europe, so um, the, the transition has already happened. Uh, the issue mostly will develop uh, within the last part of 2015 up to the end of the year and um, we feel that by then before the end of the year the full uh, establishment consolidation of the European operation will be finished. This expansion consolidation has certainly paid off. AM Best has recently upgraded your financial strength rating as well as your credit issue rating from A- to A. How do you feel after this recognition? Well, I think uh, as a whole we're uh, very happy, uh, to say the least. You're always happy when you get uh, upgraded. Uh, uh, the main issue, uh, I think, is, has been a long wait. We have been uh, on, a, on an upgrade list for about three years. So I think finally the rating agency recognized that uh, our expansion and our operations are set on, on sound foothold and that uh, we knew what we were doing. Uh, one of the concerns obviously when you are spending for the rating agencies uh, are these guys, do these guys know what they're, what they're doing? Uh, are they going into new markets and are they going to have problems there and the rest? So obviously we understood but now they, uh, they can see that the operations in Europe, Middle East, Eastern Europe and the rest have uh, consolidated and are in, in the process of a even stronger consolidation, but now as a, a player on the ground. So we're happy for that.
Baron Trey has decided to focus even more on surety, one of your main business lines. Why is surety so important and which markets can benefit more from it? Well, I don't know if, if, if to focus more on surety. Surety is one of our uh, core business areas. The issue is uh, we have a strong presence in Italy. Italy, as you may know, is uh, the biggest market for bonds in the world. Uh, and we are strengthening our, our presence there. Spain is also a big market for surety and bonds. And as the economic crisis basically obliterated the sector, we believe that as, as the economy improves, uh, also uh, there will be a, a growth on, in the surety and, and bond sector in Spain. And we, are, uh, we have a presence there and we hope that we can participate. You give a lot of importance to your employees at Barron Street. What strategies do you use to find and most importantly to retain talented professionals in your business? I think we are in the business of bringing not people, but the best people that you can get. Uh, and that is key uh, to our uh, way of thinking. You cannot have a, a world-class uh, company if you have third-class employees. You gotta have world-class people to uh, be able to manage a world-class company, so that's clear. The issue of, of retention, I think it has to do with our core uh, DNA within the company. Uh, we are very entrepreneurial. Uh, we take decisions and act on them quickly. And basically, we are uh, an execution-driven company. I, I, I find that, that the key to our retention uh, is that when people come to Barron's Re, they come from different environments, but at the end of the day, companies have become very structured and not very focused on execution. And people are bored. Uh, they become accustomed and they want something different, something where their contribution matters and where their opinion uh, has value. And I think that's uh, the key within our group and has been, I think, on the retention side, very successful. Well, thank you very much for joining us today and good luck in your future. Thank you, Mercedes. A pleasure.